We move now to another internal struggle in the in the White House. The Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and Mark Calabria, the incoming Federal Housing Finance Agency Director, are reported to be at odds over the government's revamp of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Now, the reporting on this has been coming from our own Charlie Gasparino, who joins us now with some more exclusive details. What's the deal, Charlie? You know, everybody was supposed to fix this one as well, <laughs> Fannie and Freddie. It's, it's right up there with health care, particularly coming out of the financial crisis. Um, by the way, it, it sounds mind-boggling. They're called general... Uh, 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 they're government agencies that support the mortgage market, but, you know, they play a huge role. They basically supply the liquidity uh, for a $10 trillion mortgage market. So, this, so whatever reform plan comes out of this is going to be pretty big. Now, today, the president came out with an executive order essentially saying, fix the damn thing, finally. Uh, Mnuchin was there. He's doing it through HUD. But there's one other player in this. It's Mark Calabria, the head of the FHA, F, FHFA. And uh, from what we understand, he is at odds with Steve Mnuchin over the, over the way to reform this thing. Mnuchin wants this, the, the Fannie and Freddie essentially to return to their old structure pre-crisis, essentially private companies that, tr that trade in the public markets, that have an implicit government backup. Calabria is saying, do not take them out of government control until we have better taxpayer uh, controls and, and, and protection, because we don't want another bailout like we had in 2008. So, again, if you're thinking that this is the beginning of something that's going to happen tomorrow, I am telling you there's a lot of disagreement over how the future structure of these things is going to look like between the two principal players in this, Mnuchin and Calabria, and then you throw in Congress, and this thing could go on for a while. And, you know, here's why it's important to our viewers. All our viewers, a lot of our viewers have mortgages. Fannie and Freddie are needed to keep liquidity in the mortgage markets. Banks don't make 30-year mar mortgages unless they can sell them to Fannie and Freddie. It's as simple as that. So they're needed. On top of that, these are very heavily traded stocks. A lot of hedge funds, small investors got in when these stocks are trading at $2 a share or less. They're hoping on a big payday if there's a reform effort. I would say this to them. If you think that this is going to be, that you're going to make, you know, triple your money tomorrow, you know, wait for the fine details because Calabria and Mnuchin don't see eye to eye on this, and they matter here. And Guys, back to you. That's the takeaway, that it could drag on. Um, it can. Good reporting, Charlie. As always, Charlie Gasparino in the newsroom.